recycle as much as possible both at home and at work. I reuse and repurpose what other people might consider rubbish, such as my Christmas tree decorations. They also make great presents for family and friends. I cycle to work every day, over five miles and the same distance back home. It doesn't just reduce my carbon footprint, it also saves me over $1,500 in transportation costs and um, keeps me fit. I use Albert at Work, which is a carbon footprint calculator specifically made for the media industry. It helps me monitor my carbon footprint emissions and reduce them. turn down my heat tank and switch off the lights when I don't need them in the house. Other things that help me to uh, reduce my carbon footprint to save some energy and save money on bills are using energy saving light bulbs, using a hot water bottle, putting on enough warm clothing and hanging out my laundry. When I do the washing up I fill a plastic bowl rather than the full sink because I've got a very large sink. Um, I decide to have showers over baths and as I live in a country where it rains all the time I save the rainwater and use it to water my plants. I cut down my meat consumption to just one portion per week. Less meat production means less greenhouse gases but also I eat more veg and I stay healthier for longer. I try to buy what's in season and what's from the local area. The less my food has to travel to get to me, the uh, lower my carbon footprint. Well, the less we buy, the less we throw away, so I decide to buy only um, the living essentials. It saves me a fortune, but it also reduces packaging, courier miles, wastage, you name it. With my family living abroad and my boyfriend in a different city, I use Skype to um, see them regularly. I extend my visits when I see them rather than going more frequently, which reduces air miles and my carbon footprint. I always try to be a good example and um, inspire people around me to cycle and recycle more and waste less. I think if you care about your environment, others will do too.